What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Soundtrack Podcast. Today marks the start of a new series we got for y'all called Hip Hop News, in which we're going to be talking about things that are relevant within the hip hop industry. These videos are going to be formatted as more authentic conversations with y'all. So not scripted, not super edited, just raw content for y'all. Today we're going to be talking about Drake, Drake retiring, how he should go about it, and when he should retire. Mr. Aubrey Graham, I got next to me on one of the greatest hip-hop albums of all time and my favorite hip-hop album of all time behind here, Views. Notice, I said favorite. I said favorite, not best. So please don't come for me in the comments. But anyways, let's hop into it, man. So about three weeks ago, Drake did an interview with Lil Yachty, got the internet stirring before it even came out. They, they put out a little clip in which Drake talked about how he's slowly introducing the concept of a graceful exit in his mind. And Drake is always saying some stuff to try and sound like super eloquent and philosophical when it just comes out as like, I have no idea what you mean by that. But he's basically talking about retirement, if y'all don't understand. Um, and I, I think this is a good thing, man. I'm, I'm a big Drake fan, and I know a lot of fans were, were maybe sad to hear this. A lot of critics may be happy, finally, for him to get his trash music out of here. Um, but I, I think, I think it's a good thing considering Drake is probably, is not probably Drake is the most accomplished rapper of all time. If we're talking numbers, accolades, mass appeal, Drake is the most accomplished rapper of all time. One of the most accomplished artists of all time. And I think now he's slowly coming to a point in his career in, in which he is no longer leaning into his specific artistry to make his records. In preparation for this video, I was kind of thinking about the three ways that I feel his retirement could go down, the three paths to his retirement, and, and how they could sort of, I guess, form like a triangle, and in which one started to collapse, there is no triangle. And that triangle is sort of representing Drake's career. So he's kind of right now dependent upon these three things being there. The first thing is probably the most organic way that his retirement could happen. And it's, it's overall just probably the most natural way for anyone in which that person just gets burned out on his or her craft. And I think considering how long Drake has been in the game, the volume of music he puts out, I, th I, think, it's, I think it's possible. Now, Drake is, is very much a workaholic and very much um, super, just super ambitious of a rapper. Um, I'm sure you guys could get that impression on, on a record like Tuscan Leather. But I think now he's coming to a point in which because he's the most accomplished rapper, there's no need for that. So let me just put it this way. I wouldn't be shocked if we saw Drake walk away from the mic due to it being, you know, just him naturally thinking his time is up. And, and that's probably the best way for it to happen. But then I think there's about two other scenarios um, that are also quite likely to happen. And these are more... These are these are less self motivated for Drake and more kind of consumer listener motivated. As I said previously, I believe Drake is leaning less into his artistry when he's making his records. We can tell there's a big difference between Certified Lover Boy and between Take Care. One is a perfect album, and one is, in my opinion, a great album. But there's a big difference. To, to the little details, to the artistry. I don't need Drake to make Certified Lover Boy. Drake is the type of guy that's going to make Certified Lover Boy, but I don't need Drake to make Certified Lover Boy. That's not Drake playing into his strength. That's not Drake giving you music that only Drake can give you. And I think as we all know, his music is, is, is sort of on a steady decline, critically. Uh, I'm sure some fans kind of fluctuate. Some people think maybe more life is better than reviews. Some people think Certified Lover Boy is better than Scorpion. And so I think one way Drake could be pushed out is that when his fans truly start to come together and start to see that he is definitely not leaning into his artistry and being extreme, extremely lacking creativity, I think he's kind of going to be forced out at that point. Because, not because I'm saying Drake is paying attention to what everyone is saying and Drake is, his music is dictated exactly by what everyone in the media says. But if he wants a graceful exit and wants to go out on top, he has to listen. He has to listen to everyone that is taking in his music, whether they're fans or whether they're critics. The last thing to kind of to fill the third side of the triangle for me is Drake's age. Uh, I don't think Drake is too old to be rapping because we got people like Hove, got people like um, Kanye, Three Stacks even. I, I don't know how old Three Stacks is, but I know he's old. And I think 
the problem with Drake is that, um, excluding Andre, because I think he's really just doing features now, um, Jay-Z and Kanye have adapted their content matter to better fit their age and where they are in life. Drake has yet to do that. Drake is making a record, is, is making the record Girls Want Girls when he's what is he, like 35, 34. And he was making The Ride when he was in his mid-20s, maybe late 20s. And I think we're slowly going to start to see critics and fans saying that his content matter is completely not matching up with his age. It's going to be uh, an, an immaturity thing. And I don't think Drake will ever stop rapping about women. And I don't, I don't want Drake to stop rapping about women because that's his best music. But he doesn't need to be chasing records like way too sexy um, or girls want girls. Stuff like that, he really, he really should have never made in the first place. But if he were to make it, should have left it in the past, in the beginning of his career, on something like a Thank Me Later. Again, if Drake is really wanting to have this concept of a graceful exit, he's going to have to shift his content matter to maybe leaning more into Adonis, leaning in more into just the money and the fame and being reflective more about his career outside of his relationships or lack of um, healthy relationships with women. So in the end, man, I just feel like I, I know I know a lot of people are, are are curious as to when Drake is actually going to retire, and some people are speculating maybe five years, um, stuff like that, maybe finishing out the decade. I think Drake could give us a solid five years, but I think again. If Drake is really wanting to go for the graceful exit, I think he should give us maybe a mixtape this year. Scary Hours 3. It's been teased for a minute. Next year, give us a really well-crafted, focused album. Take a year off from dropping music, not from working. And that whole year, he's working on his final album. He's closing the curtains, and he's giving you one last great uh, body of work. I think that is the best path for him to completely finish on top and finish as the Drake we know and love. We don't want to see him. Um, I don't think anyone wants to see Drake go out like Eminem has. And that's what I think Drake is trying to avoid um, when he's saying these things and mapping these things out in his head. And one thing about Drake is he's a very calculated person extremely calculated person nothing that he does ever seems to be sporadic it's always calculated i mean what the hell do you think he's doing in the embassy half the time calculating his next move you know what i'm saying anyways y'all thank you for watching make sure y'all check out the new podcast episode that's going to be dropping soon and peace